this is John from Dream Theater. We have a brand new album coming out soon. Let's get into some questions. I was 12 years old when I first started playing guitar. As far as artists that people might not expect me to be listening to, there's a whole gypsy jazz world. So, so Cella Rosenberg, Joshua Safan, guys like that. I was probably, I don't know, 14 years old or 15 when I played my first show on stage. It was at a church. I remember it well. As far as a secret hobby, I'm not sure how secret it is, but uh, I recently got into barbecue uh, thanks to Sterling Ball, and, and he introduced me to that world, and uh, it's, it's really pretty addictive. Well, as far as inspiration for the new album, one of the cool things uh, for me personally is that I had just finished up a guitar camp, and in that camp were whole bunch of really amazing guitar players and right after that I went and recorded guitar solos so I was very inspired by all the guys that came to my camp. It was pretty amazing. First live show I went to was Rush on the Signals tour in 1982 at Nassau Coliseum on Long Island, and it was unbelievable. You know, be prolific, write music, that's going to be your voice, it's going to separate you from uh, everybody else, and you have to work hard, don't be lazy. Get out there and just do everything you possibly can to fulfill your dream. Um, we're really excited about this new album. We recorded it in such a way that we had such a great time, and I think that spirit and energy is in the music, and I can't wait for all of you to hear it. We're really proud of it. Hey everybody, this is Jordan from Dream Theater, and we are super excited that we're releasing our new album. Uh, when I started playing my instrument, I was seven years old. Uh, I started actually by playing the piano in my second grade classroom, and um, my teacher ended up calling my mother and saying how nicely I was playing the piano, but my mother knew nothing about it. So she decided to go out and buy a piano, and that's when it all began. I listen to a lot of different kinds of music, and sometimes uh, I meet people that have no idea of the various kinds. I listen to certainly a lot of classical music. I love uh, Rachmaninoff and Prokofiev and Hinostera, but I also listen to things like electronic music, uh, artists like Autiker or Aphex Twin, uh, are some favorites, so I think people don't really know much about that. Um, when I was very young, I went to Juilliard playing classical music, and part of the program was that I would have to do recitals. They had a couple beautiful re recital halls at Juilliard, so I was playing concerts probably like age 10 or 11 years old. So I uh, kind of got used to the, the intensity and pressure of uh, being in front of people at a very young age. I can't talk about my secret hobbies because they're very, very private. Actually, uh, let's see, some things that um, maybe people don't know about. I'm very interested in working with visual elements as well, and although people know me as a musician, I do spend a lot of time working with some very cool software uh, and creating cool visuals. So I'm someone who listens to a lot of music, 
And um, for this particular album, I mean, I would just say it's more just my general uh, influ influences that come into play. Um, you know, my main, I think, rock influence is the progressive rock, things like, uh, I don't know, Yes, or Genesis, or Gentle Giant, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, that, that kind of thing that always is kind of running around my, my brain. <laughs> How about that? The first live rock rock concert that I attended was The Who playing Tommy. It was at the Fillmore East. I think it was 1969 and it was really crazy. had no idea what to expect. I was just a young classical musician and I was there, all these people with hair down to their feet, smoking pot, and my mind was completely blown. Very often young people come up to me, you know, they love music, they want to be in the music scene. And, um, and I'm so pleased to see people who are passionate about their music. Of course, you know, the music industry is incredibly hard and it gets harder all the time to figure it out. But my main advice is if you really love what you're doing is to be very focused and to stay on track and just enjoy your life and do what you need to do. Our fans have been amazing being in Dream Theater for the last 20 years. It's been uh, a wonderful experience going around the world and feeling the energy of all the all the fans. We're lucky enough to have you know, various fan clubs around the world that are very active and you know, it's one of the things I enjoy the most about this lifestyle is just getting that kind of support and that kind of feedback and energy from all the fans.